This is Quilted Bugs and Gifts by Akami Shibata. Um, Akami takes you right back to the beginning as far as quilting and patchwork is concerned and enables you to create one or all of 36 projects um, by sitting and relaxing and sewing by hand and the projects that you're going to create. I think, particularly because of the hand sewing and the types of fabrics that Akima uses, look very folksy, they look very organic, they look very, very natural. Now if you're new to quilting, then you've got all of your guides here, so how to mark out your lines, how to make your bias tape, how to actually sew the pieces together, and there's a little bit about hand stitching as well, which you probably find very interesting. And that's hand stitching for actually sewing the pieces together, but it's hand stitching to decorate as well with a satin stitch, uh, colonial or not, fly stitch and the like. So she's going to take you through step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to create smaller items with the patchwork and quilting. There's quite a few different bags in here. There's tote bags, cosmetic bags, you've got purses in here as well. But I, I love the detail, the attention to detail, like with the dancing tulips bag. Not only do you have the tulips and the dimension of the tulips with the petals and the leaves, you've also got the quilting in the background and then the stitching around here and the bias binding. So there's a lot of technique it's going into one item, even though this, you know, it's not a huge quilt, it's, um, it's just a small bag. Let's have a flick through some of these different designs though. And talking of designs, that's exactly what Akame is doing nowadays. She started off working in the family craft store and then soon became a sewer and started sewing every single day. She fell in love with the quilting and this is what she's now very well known for in Japan. In fact, she is one of Japan's leading quilters. She teaches, she takes workshops, she teaches all around the world and she's written many books, but this is the first one that's been published by Search Press. Um, swivel hook tote, so again, another different style of bag for you to make. Um, and I just love, again, the texture that she, she brings into all of her work. Let me have a quick flip through a few more pages. So you'll have an idea of the comprehensive instructions, very clearly laid out. The diagrams are very clear, as many as she can possibly fit on a page. And talking of pages, you've got over 40 of them in this book with those 36 projects. It's a very different look, isn't it, with the, the houses and the owl and, and the letters on there. I think you're going to learn ideas that you can use um, as transferable skills as well. So you, know, you can take this idea of the applique, which is on a Boston bag, but use that maybe in a quilt block. So I think you're going to be learning a lot from the book that you can use on your own projects going forward. Let me just flick through a few more pages and show you the quilt blocks at the back as well. Because I think this is a very clever idea. A lot of the time with, with quilts, you may be a little bit daunted. Oh, it's too much. It's a lot of hand sewing. I'll never be able to achieve something like this. Um, when you're making quilts up in blocks, like the quilt that, oh, that basket's nice as well, look. So I should use the hexagons for flowers. Oh, that's such a, a clever idea with the little stalks. Or when you get patterns at the back of the book. But, oh, I digress. We were talking about the, the quilt. So this is a quilt as you go sampler. Um, so there are 16 blocks on there in total, and they're all very different, but they all work well together. Um, but if you're looking at that thinking, oh, that's going to take a long time, I don't know if I have the patience, or I don't know if, if the standard of my work would be good enough, why not take one of those blocks and make a block tote? So you're just making the one, if you like, so, and then a, a bag. Or you could make them into little placemats, just put some bias binding around each one of them, or join them together in groups of four instead of groups of 16. So I think it's one of those books where you, you're going to take inspiration and use elements of it and then come up with your own ideas. But again, for those of you that are brand new, here's all your blocks explained. There are some templates for you. Recognise the tulips from the tulip bag we were talking about earlier. But then as we come right to the back of the book, you've actually got some patterns that you can pull out as well. And all of these patterns are full size. So you don't need to go down to your local um, stationers or, or try and enlarge these on a photocopier at all. You can just trace them or, or cut them out from the patterns at the back. So overall, I think you've got a really interesting bag. What, uh, book. Sorry, what, what I love about it um, is the title because it's called to Bags and Gifts. And that's what I'm thinking when I look through the book. Who could I give that bag to? Or who could I give that cosmetic bag to? Or who could I give that sampler to? Or shall I just keep them all for myself? I think you're going to really enjoy this one.